Hey, welcome back. As you've seen, we are switching gears now, turning our attention to politics. And it's, it's just, what, 140-something days to next year's general elections. It's been a long time coming, but now uh, political parties uh, seem to be having different challenges uh, from uh, the leading political party, the APC, to the opposition, uh, PDP and others. We've seen, you know, pockets of issues, and it looks like these issues are seeming intractable, especially when you see the caliber of people involved, the demands being made, and, I mean, the meetings ending uh, or deadlocking, as it were. So this morning, uh, we're focusing on that yet again. After all, they have presented themselves uh, to lead Nigerians. So we'll first take a look at how they're practicing democracy internally and maybe extrapolate and see how well they will do if they're elected eventually uh, into power. And this morning we're joined uh, on the program uh, by a member of the People's Democratic Party, Prince Tiran Odeyemi, is a former DPC National Publicity Secretary of the PDP, he joins us uh, virtually uh, from Ibadan, the Oyo State capital uh, this morning. Uh, Prince Odeyemi, it's good to have you on the program. You know, I, I can't help uh, but refer to that rally uh, that we saw of the APC in Oyo State recently. And perhaps that may have gotten the PDP jittery, thinking, wait a minute, what is going on here? Where the, uh, the major party in Oyo State, that got a lot of people talking, wondering, what is the PDP up to? There's a lot going on right now. So maybe as some form of response, what is going on within your party in Oyo State to begin with, before we then extrapolate and talk about the issues we have seen, of which the governor of Oyo State also is a major player in that. As far as politics uh, in the U.S. state is concerned, I know everything about it because I've served the former governor, Nate Alawakala, as a special advisor on communication and strategy. If you see anybody, or if you are trying to look at the rally as the yardstick to measure the presence of APC in your state, I can assure, I can as well tell you that it is a wrong miscalculation. Because in your state today, Sheyi Makinde, the PDP candidate, is extremely too popular and accepted by the people of Oyo State as the governor. Apart from the fact that he is performing well, he has conducted himself in public eye to such an extent that the demand for his return are even from the people of Oyo State. When I say the people of Oyo State, I'm not talking of Ibadan alone. I'm talking of Ogbomosho and virtually everywhere. <clears throat> if tomorrow you jump, you know, you, you stand up on your, on your car, people will want to look at you, people will follow you. It is very wrong to say because a large crowd follow them and I don't even see the, the crowd we are talking about. Right. Because they are members of APC, nothing more than that, working on the street, it doesn't give any, any calculation about what is going to be the outcome of election if it were to be conducted tomorrow right. in your state. So just, just, that was just to... PDP, they are popular in the state. Just, just to get a sense of, I mean, how you are handling all of that, but that, that means, you, as you'll expect, uh, you're very hopeful, and, 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 and of course, uh, that's expected at this time. But let's talk about... Um, what's going on within your party right now. Interestingly, uh, Governor Makide is playing a major role uh, in all of that. We've seen uh, his position time and again uh, on the happenings in your party saying, well, I am with the presidential candidate of the party. We're supporting him well, to, a, to a large extent. But when it comes to the issue of chairmanship, Senator Ayu must go. He reiterated that during the, uh, the meeting which, I mean, he had with the candidate of your party. But we've seen that, you know, other southwestern states are saying, well, we're not exactly together. And it looked like this was a southern thing, or at least a southwestern thing. We've seen the south-south as well give their position from Governor Wiki. So uh, the question is, does he still maintain that stance, seeing that the BOT chairman has been moving around to try to, you know, close the ranks and ensure that these issues are resolved. Is uh, Governor Makine still maintaining that stance as of today? I want to tell you categorically that Governor Makine has not changed or has not shifted from his belief that there should be reorganization in the hierarchy of the national officers of the party. And this is based on the fact that we can, his argument is that we cannot have the president from the north 
and I'm the chairman of the party from the same zone. So he remains on his stand, and that has been the cause and the position of that group to the present moment. Nothing has shifted, nothing has changed. Of course, in politics, 24 hours is a long, is a long time. If tomorrow the chairman tenders his letter of resignation, then there will be a lot of rearrangement and everything will come back to normalcy. But as it is now, the situation remains the same, and uh, which is not too good for our party. But I can tell you that emphatically. Uh, I mean, clearly, especially from people watching from outside, people who want to make their decisions, they look across and they see, okay, this party seems to be having issues, this one having issues, but this one, okay, it's good. Let's go with this one. But uh, the question now is, isn't this now becoming a bit personal? Uh, we've seen other southwestern states, as I said, saying, well, we're with you on this. So uh, it looks like now individuals are now the ones saying, well, this is what we want, and not the party. Saying that, first, uh, the leadership of the party at the national level has given a vote of confidence uh, on, on the chairmanship of Senator Ayu. And if he were to be removed, they will play a vital role in that. In fact, they have the responsibility, they have uh, the powers, according to the constitution of your party, to be able to remove the national chairman. So they say clearly they're not going to do that. So isn't this becoming a personal thing? Don't forget, you always say, we are party men, okay? The party is supreme. But it looks like individuals are now supreme. Am I right? Uh, you have more or less answered the question. There is always politics within politics. The politics we are supposed to be playing externally with the opposition like the APC, the NNPP, the Labour, is what we are playing with ourselves internally. When you are talking of the party, it is the membership that constitutes the party. And don't rule out the fact that we all have our own personal interests which was the purpose of even being a member of that political party. We have personal interest to become something, to use the political party as a ladder towards getting to position, to executive position. So you cannot rule out personal, personal desire for leadership in what is paying out in PDP. I just want you to understand that. So if you are saying, you know, one is personal, one is political party, Political party does not ex exist in vacuum. It consists of human beings. It consists of people from all the local government, all the polling booths, and virtually, virtually everywhere. So what I'm trying to say in essence is that, of course, you can rule out personal desires, personal issues from the politics that is playing out in, in PDP in general. Well, Mr. Dayemi, without ruling out personal desire, it is becoming the somewhat preponderance of views from members of your party that the train, the presidential train of your candidate is moving uh, without uh, recourse to this personal desire of certain members of your party. And this is a, a borrowing from the disposition of uh, Dr. Pierce, who was here uh, just two days ago, and uh, from my interaction with other members of your political party. And the view is that uh, Governors who are queuing behind the River State governor uh, run a risk, you know, of the bandwagon effect that may occur after the presidential election, which will precede other elections. Uh, is your governor worried about this? Or your party in, or your state worried about this? Um, fortunately, uh, we believe, you know, United we are, we can win election. Divided we are, we can fall. And in politics, it is not a deal to start counting deficits, to start counting the number of people or the number of governors that will not follow you when it comes to campaign or when it comes to your calculation of winning an election. It's a, pure, it's a bad politics and it's a, it's a pure way of losing an election. If and if you believe the attitude or the, the, or the contentions of about six governors are not in tandem with what you want to do. So uh, in a way, we, we, I believe with the visit of the BOT to Governor Wiki and the, the group, I believe it's an effort to say that, yes, we don't want to move, leaving these people behind 
And that is how politics works. We have our crisis today. Don't be surprised if tomorrow are you resigns and the whole thing is resolved. But I know quite well, and I know what we are trying to say, that if we leave anybody behind, it's a big minus for our party, and you don't start winning an election by leaving some people behind, especially key governors, key members of the party, and people whose effort and capacity are known towards winning an election. L l let me follow up on that. Um, let and be more specific with my question. Your governor is the leader of the party in the Southwest, but some also say that he's the lone voice in the wilderness uh, because Oyo State is the only PDP state in the Southwest. And then again, um, the gains that you'll be bringing to the election for president, uh, your presidential candidate will be very few. Uh, can you deliver, can you boast that the PDP uh, in the Southwest can deliver other states to your presidential candidate? You see, I agree with you, Governor Sheyi Makinde is the leader of the party constitutionally. But that does not rule out the fact that in each state, we have our own idea and individual differences. And we know who to follow when it comes to the presidential. Like in the state that I come from, I come from Oshu State. I only reside in Oyo State, and luckily, I served in Oyo State, which makes me to know the politics in Oyo State and in Oshu State. But I tell you, the position of Oshu State is quite different from the position of Oyo State. But that is not to say that when you are talking of the general election, if Governor Sheyima Kide decides to take the vote of Oyo State out of this vote in the Southwest, it's still a minus. This is exactly what I'm saying. So in other states, yes, they may have their disagreement not agree with uh, Governor Makinde's position that I usually resign. That is their own. But that is not to say that in all the states in the Southwest, people still don't believe in what Governor Sheyi Makinde is fighting for. And this is that, let us reorganize this political party to give the impression to the populace or to the electorate that we can reorganize Nigeria. So do you have any other options if this train leaves you behind? What will be the options that uh, the PDP in the Southwest will explore? And by, by extension, that is also asking, what are the options of these governors who are queuing behind uh, the River State governor? I cannot talk of any option because plus or minus, it is still the PDP and the presidential candidate at, at, that will be at loss. And just like the, you know, the analysis that I gave, it is a wrong political tactic if you are going into an election and all what you start doing is counting the number of people that will not follow you or that will not vote for you. If the number of voters in your state happens to be three, uh, three million, let me put it that way, with the popularity of Governor Sheyima Kinde, it's likely to take away half of it, which is 1.5 million votes away from the presidential election. Are we, if an uh, election at the end of the day is a game of number, I think it will not all go well and it's a bad calculation. If and if we don't have everybody on board to say yes, we want to win this election together. So by and large, it is very difficult. It is not over until it is over. And nowadays, with beavers, with the election that we have had in the kitchen, with the free and fair election we had in Oshun, I can say categorically that it's very difficult for anybody to reach election. And it's very Andy. difficult to predict what is going to be the outcome of an election. Right. I mean, I mean that's, that's still 140-something days ahead. But let's talk about what's happening now. Uh, so from the question I asked last time as we wind down now, are you saying that personal interest is bigger than party interest in this case? Personal interest is part of what forms the party interest. We are in this party as individuals, not as a group. Interest looks like IU should stay. For, uh, the national know. leadership says, well, we trust this guy. We're confident in his leadership. Looks like the party decision. So isn't it just fair to bow to party decision in the interest of, as they say, peace and stability? 
what uh, the what Wiki's group and the uh, and the Bagidesh group are saying is still the same thing. They are still members and pillars of the party. Right. So it is wrong to say that one is a party, the other one are not. Uh, you know, part of the party. It is the misunderstanding between parties within the party. It's an internal crisis because you cannot wish away and call Wiki's side. You know, personal interest. That would be very wrong because. If we were to be together, what you will be saying is that, yes, it is the party. But you cannot say because Ayu is the chairman of the party, is your, the people who uh, voted for, uh, passed a vote of confidence on him are the party. We case group, Faroche, uh, like Imoke, and all of them, they are still part of the party. So the party is divided. Look it that way. Not that you take the other side as personal interest and you take the other side as party or uh, the parties are spoken. No. Well, interesting perspective there, uh, Prince Ojai. I mean, I mean, seeing your candidate was in Bauchi State and a crowd, perhaps, as you said, just members of the party trooping out to support him. But the coming days will definitely tell. I'd like to thank you so much. Uh, Prince Diron Deyemi is a deputy, or rather, he's a former deputy national publicity secretary uh, of the People's Democratic Party. Thank you for your time this morning. Thank you very much for the opportunity. I appreciate you. Right. Well, let's flip this over to our Buja studio now. The conversation continues, but this time within the APC. Guys.